everyone. Merry Christmas. So this is my third holiday look for this season. And um, I have my children's choir singing at mass tonight. So I'm going to go a little bit religious-y with this one. And I'm going to make angel wings. And this was actually <laughs> inspired a little bit by... Um, our accompanist for our children's choir the other night when I was wearing my oh, oh, dropping fake eyelet eyelashes I was wearing my um, Christmas tree eyes and she thought they were angel wings at first and I was like but that would be a good idea so they might look similar to the Christmas trees I haven't tried this let me just fix the camera a little bit I haven't tried it so we will see how it goes but um, I hope that you enjoy it, and let's get started. So um, I'm going to start with some of my normal stuff. This um, actually, no. I'm going to use this Embrolis. Light cream concentrate. I'm really liking this moisturizer. It's a little on the thicker side. It's time for my husband to start making loud noises in the kitchen. Okay. Some of my Winky Lux. I don't want to run out of it. that beeping will stop. We're making homemade bread for Christmas. We're making homemade spicy cheese bread actually because that's how we do. And it's in the oven and it has to be rotated. So that's what he's doing right now. Okay. gentle powdering. Oh. I just got some powder in my eye. So I went last night to see Rogue One, and um, I was actually going to try and do some Star Wars eyes makeup video, but it seemed too hard, but I saw this one that was like, um, a black, it was online, it was like black, and it had like lightsabers crossing, and that looked really cool, so I might try that at some point, but 
I feel like kind of like an imposter because I'm not like a huge Star Wars fan. Um, and I liked, I liked Rogue One. It was, it was good. Um, I have to say I liked Force Awakens better. I really liked um, Rey. Uh, that story was awesome. But I did really, I mean, please, Diego Luna. He's really beautiful, so that was fun. And plus the guy that played Bodhi, the pilot guy, he was in The Night Of, and I really like him. So that was, that was fun. And I like Felicity Jones. Um, and I like the guy from Hannibal. There was a lot of good looking men in it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I still think I liked Force Awakens better. I mean, for one of the newer ones. Obviously, like, the original Star Wars are, like, really good. Alright. I'm using my Sunset Junction palette. It's an old favorite. And I just did some contour and some blush. And I like this highlighter. It's a little more, a little more intense than my other highlighter. So I'm a little nervous about these eyes because I haven't done them yet. I'm just gonna take some two shadow, two face shadow primer. start with this white from my Morphe palette and a flat brush and a pretty good amount of white fluffy brush. I'm going to go in with the Morphe palette to this color with a little bit of this just to lighten it up. I'm going to try to keep it to the center. white primer and where's the I am gonna knock things over this brush fell in the sink I am going to I'm gonna kind of trace the shape
think that's kind of good for a, a basic angel shape. Now I just have to try and do the same thing on the other side, which is not going to be easy. further on this side. I can't tell if it's even. I think it needs to come up more. There we go. Okay, now it looks even. Okay. Then I'm going to go in with this Makeup Forever star powder. Same brush because it kind of still has a little bit of the stuff on it. And I'm going to set this white with this very messy <laughs> star powder. And it's okay if it's not super precise. I say it's okay like I even know. Because I don't even know how this will come out. But so far I'm liking it. I mean, normally I actually do get to some, well not all the time, but Sometimes I do sort of practice with the looks I'm doing, or I at least have like a guide. But I'm totally shooting from the hip with this one, I don't... I don't have any guide for this. I don't even have an internet picture. I looked up angel wings, and there were some stuff, but it just wasn't quite like what I was looking for, so... This is completely out of my own head. It smells like something's burning in my house. I really hope that that isn't the case. Okay, so now I am going to So I have this um, Aurora Precision Liquid Eyeliner like felt tip that I got from my Ipsy that I haven't used yet, and I thought this might be kind of good for this. hear that that's the sound of my dishwasher okay so I like that it's not good it's not done now I just have to
to do it on both sides. angel wings. So now I'm going to take um, this end of this brush and I'm going to go in with some of this true gold and I'm going to kind of go over some of the lines and kind of make it look less liney and more like and sparkle. Kind of buff this out a little bit. So it's not quite so harsh. I'm just trying to give it some dimension. small brush. Where's a small brush? <clears throat> Here we go. This is perfect. I want to find one I don't use that much. I'm going to put a little bit of eyeshadow glue or eyelash glue. And I'm just going to kind of paint the bottoms. And then with this Too Faced Glitterly, I'm going to gently cover the entire wing.
So now what I'm going to do is go back in with this true gold and this other side of this Urban Decay brush. And starting at the wing, I'm gonna fill this in a little bit more, make it a little more glittery. like about this glitter thing is like the glitter kind of extended beyond the wing but I don't mind that I like it I'm gonna go in with a little brown from the Morphe palette just right here at the crease just to bring a little more definition I would pick it up, but I have like other things open on the Morphe palette, so you're just going to have to trust me. And since I liked the way that looked so much, I'm going to go back in with some glue on my lashes, on my uh, lid line. Try to let that dry a little bit. This might be a bad idea. Where's the top of this? Oh. This glitter is beautiful. Now you could do that without the lash glue if you have a better glitter than that, like a glitter that is part of an eyeshadow, but that's a good way to get it to stay on if having that eyelash glue on doesn't bother you. Hmm. Where did I put... <laughs> I think I might darken this, the wings, a little bit. Give them a little more definition. They might be mistaken for like eagle wings, <laughs> but what can you do? Okay, so next I'm going to put on these same lashes that I've been using a lot lately. Um, I 
I really like them. And since I already have this lash glue open, I'm just gonna use this lash glue. Again, these are just a set, a regular set of lashes from Sephora that I just cut into half. And if you are bad at lashes, which like a lot of people are, I am, um, you can totally do this and it will make your life so much easier. Because my problem is like it, I have trouble sticking it down here and all the way over here at the same time. And these don't make you have to do that. You just stick them right on. It really smells like burning in my house. Instead of going to see if anything's burning, I am making this video. But the smoke detector hasn't gone off, so... Okay, I just talked about how easy this is to do. And now this one's giving me grief. Come on. It's my eyelashes. My regular eyelashes got in the way of that one. Still in the way of it. Go on. Crap. Okay, good. Whew. I hope nothing is burning. unfortunate right now. I'm going to fill in my eyebrows while my eyelashes dry. And I'm just using an angled brush and some of my grayish brown Morphe eyeshadow. I'm going to go back into my glitterally very lightly put some glitter in my eyebrows oh, and there goes our bread just took all of it out. So I'm going to go back in. <laughs> what the heck? What the heck? I'm going to go back in with a little bit more glitter. Just just a scotch. going off until I 
go turn it off. Okay. Going in with some regular mascara. We probably need a little bit of brown underneath. There we go. I hear you. Oh. I was going to do black liner. 